The best-selling mid-sized sedan for too many years to count is still going strong despite a foreseen dip in sales over the latter part of the last decade. Dependable, comfortable, and economical, the Camry seemingly ticks all the boxes and it's no wonder it's been as successful as its sales figures would lead us to believe. In spite of relatively bleak times for sedans, the all-new Camry is expected to raise its game a notch or two as it's finally receiving a long overdue makeover. So stay with us to find out about the scope of stunning upgrades the 2025 Toyota Camry will bring to the table. Complete design overhaul inside and out. The 8th generation Camry is basically counting its last days as the next gen models have already been caught testing and are expected to make an appearance sometime during the following year. Toyota has already delayed the 9th gen Camry and broken the typical 6 year generational cycle, but it'll all be worth it once the new models finally hit the dealer lots. It's about time they do as well since the current models began showing their age a while ago. It's safe to say that Toyota has had a remedy for this particular situation for some time now, but was too busy remodeling other models from its vast portfolio and introducing all new ones. Some of those all new and recently redesigned models can actually serve as a preview for the new Camry, as they boast the company's most recent design language dubbed the Hammerhead. Present across the likes of the recently redesigned Prius or the newcomer Crown sedan, the Hammerhead combines a wide open grille with minimally intrusive thin headlights for a visual contrast that's arguably become the industry's norm in recent years. Similarly, we'd expect to see a light bar stretching the length of the tailgate at the rear as both the mentioned models feature a similar solution as well. Such a move serves a dual purpose for the brand, as every sedan worth its salt nowadays boasts a more aggressive styling to try and distance itself from historically bland and uninspiring stylings that had typically defined the midsize segment. Every surviving midsize sedan on the market takes a sportier approach compared to its predecessors, as that seems like the only sensible move for a car belonging to a shrinking segment. Offering something that nameplate loyalists won't mind and that could potentially attract new buyers is apparently also the road toward which the new Camry is going. The 9th Gen Camry's extensive overhaul carries over into the interior as well. Much like the new line of Toyota Crown models, the new Camry is expected to embrace a more simplistic approach to the cabin design, which is a far cry from the busy and cluttered look of the current models. Although at this point, it's still a bit of a guessing game. We'd be surprised if the 2025 Camry ends up deviating significantly from Toyota Crown's streamlined cabin design and feature set. A large 12.3-inch touchscreen display should be at the forefront Front, while a corresponding customizable gauge cluster screen should find its spot behind the wheel. The latter, however, will only be available on more expensive models. Toyota has also switched to a shift by a wire shifting layout, which saves some space in the center console, space the company will use to insert a wireless charging pad. Finally, expect the standard integration systems such as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay even in entry-level models. New Powertrains Looking at the current Camry powertrain lineup, only the hybrid has a fighting chance of survival, as both the base naturally aspirated four-cylinder and the burlier V6 are basically already gone. The former wasn't doing much to begin with, while the latter's lackluster fuel economy is practically its downfall. The remainder of the Toyota range, like the Highlander and even the Sienna, have already cut ties with the V6 as well, and the Camry is next in line to do the same. Instead of a V6, Toyota is most likely going to pair the 2025 Camry with the engine offering from the, you've guessed it, the Toyota Crown range. There, a 2.5-liter four-cylinder paired with a trio of electric motors develops a total of 236 horsepower, which is a healthy increase over the current hybrid engine at its 208 ponies. Instead of a V6, the more powerful Camry TRD models will most likely draw inspiration from a turbocharged four-cylinder. The Crown sedan again has just the unit for the job, as its 2.4-liter four-banger makes 340 horsepower, albeit with help from an electric motor. Still, that's another increase in power larger than 10% as the V6 currently makes 301 horses. Toyota should offer most of its lineup in both front and electronic all-wheel drive configurations, but it's the transmissions that interest us the most. We'd expect a CVT gearbox across most of the range and a six-speed auto paired with a Turbo 4. Sadly, that portion of the powertrain seems like a downgrade, but at least the fuel efficiency should reap the benefits. Further down the line, there are talks of a potential plug-in hybrid model that could use a system similar to that of the RAV4 Prime. But the model year 2025 is too early for that particular development. Improved Safety a top receiving 5 stars from the NHTSA and the top safety pick plus award from the IIHS, the Camry continues to provide a prolonged list of active safety systems even in its base trim. True, at the moment, that safety bundle is limited to the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, but by the time the new models arrive, it'll have been upgraded to the latest Safety Sense 3.0. 
provided the company doesn't update its advanced driver's aids bundle even further in the meantime. The newest safety sense adds a proactive driving assist system. The PDA uses the vehicle's camera and radar, and when conditions are met, applies automatic braking and steering to help maintain distance between the Camry and another vehicle, pedestrian, or cyclist. Other than that, also standard across the range are forward collision warning and automated emergency braking, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, automatic high beams, and road sign assist. Improved quality while the Camry is one of the better appointed models in its class, it's impossible to omit the base model's somewhat plebeian demeanor. There's a concerning gap in material quality between the base LE models and the next in line XLE trim, let alone the range topping models. Toyota can't turn the entry level Camry into a borderline luxury car, and with the introduction of the new, more extravagant crown lineup, it'll have to watch out not to step on its toes either. However, the Japanese definitely can and will improve the cabin quality of the 2025 Toyota Camry LE models or their equivalent by offering more softer cabin elements than before and possibly even a two-tone color configuration. We wouldn't bet on the latter, but at least it doesn't have to be all black, as gray or tan would work wonders for the Camry. The feature list should also be expanded, but we wouldn't expect miracles in that department either. Again, base models lack some convenience gear that's otherwise available in similarly priced cars, and Toyota would do well to include heated front seats and at least some sort of seating memory function. The infotainment and gauge cluster screens will be enlarged however, and that's definitely a move in the right direction. Improved Fuel Economy the Camry is already one of the most frugal vehicles in its class if optioned with the hybrid engine, but things are about to get even better, especially across the remainder of the range. The Toyota Crown, which is supposed to serve as the engine donor and weighs on average 600 pounds more than the Camry, returns 42 mpg in the city and 41 mpg on the highway. That's a platform that the Camry could use to achieve close to 50 mpg combined, which is the figure that the current gen hybrids develop as well. However, the new powertrain with three electric motors and added power would definitely do wonders for the sedan, especially compared to the current hybrids, which are anything but lively. The 4-banger, on the other hand, blows the V6 out of the water in terms of efficiency. 29 mpg in the city and 32 mpg in the highway in the Crown sedan would translate to even better figures in the trimmed-down Camry, and despite the 6-cylinder's athleticism, 40 extra horsepower from the 4-cylinder would be hard to beat as well. Arrival Date and Pricing the 2025 Toyota Camry production is expected to start as early as spring of 2024, and the first models could be available by summer. Pricing is expected to increase, which is almost universal when next-gen models are concerned. Don't expect to get the all-new Camry for $27,500, which you can do today. Instead, look at an entry-level price tag that's closer but still below the $30,000 mark. Range topping models, on the other hand, should continue to retail under $40,000, although every automaker, including Toyota, always leave some wiggle room if you want to spec your car beyond that price point. In a world in which crossovers are king, the Camry remains surprisingly successful. Its comfort, practicality, and affordability packed together are something that's hard to pass up, and the 2025 Toyota Camry will improve upon them further, cementing its place as the absolute leader among non-trucks and crossovers. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.